it's actually a beautiful morning. It's foggy and it's very pretty. Beautiful. Same old, same old. Feed cows. Nothing new here, right? Well, I got a bucket load of silage here. Um, I'll just show you on the scale before and after. Um, how much this stuff weighs um, probably most of you probably know but it is heavy and it you know I don't have necessarily a really really full bucket but it's fairly full could be a lot fuller well, let's uh, show you what it weighs here our mixer wagon pretty full of hay you can see it's kind of spilling out when it's mixing uh, 3510 pounds you can see it or not and let's dump this in. Ooh. Well, from 3510 to 5310, we can call it 10. Well, if you do the math, which I did on a calculator, <laughs> 1,800 pounds in that bucket load. It's a lot of silage, right? A lot of moisture in that silage too, of course. But I want to get this feed wagon up to 6,500 pounds. And I'm going to give them that. And I'll explain here in a little bit what else. All right, that was the last second second bucket load of corn silage. I didn't fill it as full and I got her up to 6,500 where I wanted it. Head, you know, for a pound per head, 
but uh, this is what I had left over from last winter and so I won't probably start feeding liquid feed till after the new year so I'm just trying to feed up this last year's stuff sparingly just to skimp it by till then but uh, you can see our weather conditions the cows are in front of me somewhere <laughs> can't see them yet but we'll get there mice in it you know if you leave it about too many years and then they they don't like the smell of that mice can do some damage I don't know what they do pee on it or what but anyway so I'm gonna unroll some hay <laughs> I guess what will be next but somebody asked about throwing a bale in this mixer wagon and just letting that grind it up so I am going to do that. I have been doing that to my feeder calves. The hay that I got ground here is better for the cows. Not not as good a quality hay as I want to give my feeder calves. So I'm going to throw a bale in, and I have been doing this, grinding a bale up, a good bale, and some silage for them. So I'll show you how that works later in a little bit. Okay, I'll show you my grain hay. I have hay barley barley hay right here and there's my old stack of oats hay that's last year's the barley is this year's well this is what that oats hay looks like it's pretty good quality for being uh, two years old I think anyway so what I got here with this oats hay and my chopped hay, I got about 9,000 pounds of feed for my cows. <clears throat> and if you take off the moisture from the corn, I'm gonna say I'm giving my cows anywhere from 35 to 38 pounds of feed per head. I'm curious to see what the rest of you do. Um, you know, this is a cold climate normally. <laughs> it's getting colder, but that's where I'm at and I'll probably increase that if it gets real nasty but until it does I won't so let me know what you do all right so here's the bale I'm gonna give my feeder calves it's second cutting uh, grass and alfalfa I can't even get my hand in it the bale is so tight it's really good hay uh, that's what's gonna give them the gains let's hope with a little silage and some grain okay i'm gonna drop this bale in and i'm gonna run to the top of the feed wagon or the mixer wagon and show you how it grinds this bale up so i'll do my best to get up there quickly and you can see how long it's going to take hopefully it does a good job i i haven't really timed it before she is. Alright. It's already tore up pretty good. 
just uh, let you watch it here for a minute. to have somebody grind your hay? Well, good question. One bale in there works pretty good. If I dump another one in, then it doesn't do as good. And it spits the hay out and it just doesn't work. Um, and if I grind hay, I can mix different kinds of hay, you know, back and forth, you know, dump one of these, one of those in and the hay is all mixed in my my ground feed pile so and it's faster actually is faster when you load it up like I did to 3,500 pounds of mixed hay or chopped hay that's why so now you don't have to ask gosh wouldn't it be nice to decorate that tree with lights or any of them for that matter okay here's my feed that I'm gonna give to the feeder calves I got that very good hay, corn silage, and whole kernels of corn mixed in together. Well, here come the calves. They're patiently waiting for their feed. Look out, puppies. They're coming to get you. <laughs> okay, we'll dump this in there. calves took after the dogs and the dogs ran out where I came in so I think they're all up there I'm gonna fill this up I do this every other day because they don't eat the whole thing out yet in one day most of it but I do it every other day for now until you know it might take a week till they start really eating on it until they get used to it that's it for today I can't believe this day just stand here and listen with me peaceful absolutely no noise just a rooster in the distance take care I'll talk to you later